My name is Will Lohs. I am the finished floor manufacturing engineer at Star Center. I keep the floor running from day to day, uh, put out fires from time to time and work on long-term improvement projects. Come in in the morning, check with the maintenance tie-in that is sent out, uh, make sure that there wasn't any big issues that came up on the finished floor. Sometimes there are, and that requires my immediate attention, whether it's something on the straightener or maybe on the packaging station. Um, and depending on what there is, that kind of sets the tone for what the priority for the day is going to be. The customer for me as an engineer is the guys on the floor. It's the maintenance guys, it's the operators, it's the production team. If I understand what their needs are, I can better meet and fulfill my job duty to make sure that they can do the best that they can. Webco really believes in training and supporting people at all positions and all levels. And Webco does a good job of allowing engineers to pursue what we see as a priority and what we see as needing to get fixed. Hardly any plan goes according to plan because of the nature of the industry that we're in. Sometimes we'll have a hot order come through and we have to stop everything we're doing because it's gonna make us a lot of money. And sometimes that means stopping projects that we were working on uh, at that time so that we can get that order through in a timely manner. So I'd say it's really important to be flexible. It can definitely be frustrating. You gotta put feelings aside sometimes and, and focus on the greater good. In my position, I'm not as worried about trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, I'm trying to perfect what my responsibilities are on the finish floor. Sometimes really simple solutions are the best. There's a lot of different mechanical systems that we're working with. And since the equipment that we use is very expensive, we're not looking to constantly change how we're doing something. We're trying to improve little bit by little bit. The current redesign that we had been using for a motor fan mount that we have on the back of our straightener was not safe from a pass-through standpoint. He brought me a cardboard cutout and we went from conceptual to what we actually use now. This is the old OEM design. The problem that we have is you can stick your fingers in here. Uh, the cages just weren't very robust with the new one. Your finger might get a little dirty, but you're not getting anything through this and it doesn't cut down on the airflow to the point that you have any overheating issues. All the maintenance guys, production's happy with it. So this I would consider a success. We as engineers might have a more textbook background of knowledge, but we're not necessarily gonna have more knowledge when it comes to running the equipment or the materials that we're working with. So as long as you understand the needs of, again, your customer, you can be a better engineer. I was working with an operator in a refinery and something he said to me really stood out was don't be that engineer. Don't be the engineer that walks in, slams down the binder and says, I know more than you. Coming into the industry, to any company, to whatever your position is, rely heavily on the people that have been there before you and the people that have the experience and learn from them and run with that.